Hello, Instagram. So this is day 342. Fuck. All right. Um, so what I want to talk about today has been fairly interesting because now that Mars retrograde is over, and for me, I feel like, honestly, like, it's almost just like, it was like I woke up this morning and it was just like this flip, like a switch, like it's just my energy just changed. Um, and it's really funny because like leading up to this day, the past two nights, I literally sat in contemplation. Like I literally sat in, uh, reflection and contemplation. Like I didn't do anything. I just stared at the ceiling and just reflected on everything, reflected on the anger emotion, reflected on what it means to be angry and like what happens and then how, you know, like what narratives are around anger and what is it all associated and what does it mean to me? And then how do I navigate anger? And it was just literally this full blown, like staring at the ceiling, deep thoughts coming up. Um, I didn't even like turn on Netflix. I didn't do anything. I just, I kind of really sat in it and it's really interesting of like kind of sitting in that, um, that space where you let your thoughts just pass you by. You just let let what is meant to show up and what is there to show you because every single emotion has a story to tell us. Every single emotion is there to show us something about ourselves, to show us something about ourselves and how we navigate that and getting curious about it and seeing like, what am I attaching this emotion to what stories am I attaching it to? Because we attach a lot of stories to a lot of emotions based on actions, based on experiences, based on what we see out in the world. And all of a sudden an emotion that was just an emotion is now an emotion with a bunch of stories. And then that almost like predetermines all the other future stories. It basically kind of, sets this like weird precedence almost. And then we believe that all those stories are related to that emotion because we believe that then that is what comes into our reality. But what if those stories didn't exist? What if those stories weren't true? What if the emotion's just there? What if it just is and there's nothing more to it? And I think that getting into that place is almost like, kind of like challenging sometimes in our mind to like really process that because we're like but no there has to be something attached to it but there isn't it's just it's there's nothing more nothing less but there's also that sense of freedom from coming from that space because you're allowing whatever is meant to come through by creating this space of there's no story anymore creating this space that there's nothing really attached to this emotion there's no narrative attached to this and you create this all of a sudden this space for anything and anything to happen how many times have you associated a story with an emotion and then basically that is actually what gets presented to you in your reality even though you wished it was something different because you already set the tone. And so by removing that story and by removing it, what it, like what is attached to this emotion, you're allowing anything and everything to come through. You're allowing yourself to be surprised. You're allowing yourself to accept everything for what it is instead of creating a story, instead of creating a narrative. Because when we create stories and narratives, we could either set, we set expectations, we get our hopes up or we're, we get disappointed before something even actually happens. And so that is kind of like what's been popping up a lot for me in the past like two days, like a lot of like, you know, like the stories that we attach to ourselves in two situations. Um, and sometimes things are what they are. There doesn't need to be a story. There doesn't need to be an explanation. 
emotions are what they are and it's up to you of how you navigate that and what you do moving forward and how you reflect on it with yourself so if you enjoyed this live please like share comment um and that is it for me today and i will definitely speak to you all tomorrow bye